Well, tonight, some people living in the back of the yards neighborhood are asking for help after a mass shooting there killed one man and injured four others. It was the first of two mass shootings in the past 24 hours in the back of the yards and Jackson Park. CBS 2's Tara Molina live at Chicago Police Headquarters and Tara Chicago's police superintendent is blaming a gang leaguer. Erica calling the violence yesterday and the continued violence since April a direct result of his release retaliation for the killing of that gang leader's brother. But with all of this unfolding in a family neighborhood, the impact is much bigger. Candles on the sidewalk Wednesday in the middle of the back of the yards neighborhood where police say rival gangs are behind the deadly mass shooting late in the afternoon Tuesday. Five people shot, one of them killed. This video shared with CBS 2 investigators caught it all. We're blurring the actual shooting, but you can see a boy running, ducking gunfire, the impact of bullets hitting nearby homes, leaving marks on this neighborhood already impacted by continued violence. Mark's groups like Shea Knox's are trying to heal. Everyone is tired. Even the young people are tired. Raised on the southwest side, she has a vested interest in making this neighborhood better, safer. Oh, everyone on our team are credible messengers from the area. She's an outreach supervisor with the Institute for Nonviolence Chicago. If a shooting happens, you know, we immediately get to the scene within 10 to 15 minutes. They responded to this right away, and they're still responding, offering services, help, mentoring, and a safe place for young people growing up around violence like this. Uh, not enough resources in the community. We definitely need more resources for the young people. A message echoed by city leaders and Chicago police. The shooting is part of an uptick in violence here in the 9th Police District. Police Superintendent David Brown says the increase is directly related to gang conflict. Conflict that continued when police showed up, with men described by police as rival gang members arrested at the shooting scene and charged with resisting arrest and aggravated battery of a police officer for shoving and pushing officers, one punched in the face. Not the community, not the crowds. These were gangsters that fought the police. In the middle of a neighborhood where a boy dodged bullets minutes prior, a neighborhood other first responders say needs more help right now. You know, nobody wants to wake up and have to come outside and look over their shoulders in fear all the time. Tonight, Police Superintendent David Brown is calling for something he's called for before. More support from the judicial system. Better risk assessment from judges to prevent the cycle of violence with the release of these violent offenders. Reporting live outside police headquarters, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tara.